Hey guys, Prangle Gaming here, and welcome back to the Mill Career Mode. It's now Season 2, Episode 17. Now, in today's episode, we've got three games. Funnily enough, they are all away from home. For the first time, I think, ever in any of my career modes have we ever had three games that have been away from home. So the first game is that game against Brighton. They are currently 16th in the league table. We was meant to play that in the last episode, but we had a cup game against Everton. So I kind of understand why that was postponed. Now, the game after that is an away game against Wigan, a team that went up with us. They are 11th in the league table, so 11th is a lot better than 16th, so they're above the mid-table area, so they could be quite a threat. Now, the final game is away to Leeds. They are 7th in the league table. That is just outside the playoffs, so they will be a very, very dangerous team to play. They may even cause us some harm. Now, at the moment, we are joint top of the league but on goal difference, we are 10 off of Crystal Palace. So at the moment, we're currently sitting second. But if we can continue the way we've been playing, then we probably will end up at least challenging for that top spot. So let's get into the team selection against Brighton. Right, and this is the team that's going to be playing Brighton in goal. We're going to go with David Ford. The left back is Mitch Hancocks. The two centre-backs are Parr and the captain, Mark Beavers. The right back is Cummins. The right midfielder is Fred. The two centre midfielders are Gardner and Askins. The left midfielder is Lee Martin. And the two strikers are Gregory and Berrienter. I believe this is the same team that we used against Everton. I want to give them all a run out. Obviously, they did suffer that defeat. So I want them just to know that they're all right. They are a good team. And hopefully, we get a decent result against a struggling Brighton side. So let's get into the game. And now Brighton have the attack. It's threaded through to Matanka. What can Matanka do with the boys? Still going with it. Matanka versus Fold. What a save by Fold. Now we have to clear it up the pitch, and we do. Very enter. On to Lee Gregory. Gregory, what can he do? He's got past a few of the defenders here, and he's going to try and coincide. Lee Gregory, still going. Gregory with a shot. Oh, what a save by the keeper Stockdale there. Cut in. On to Gardner. Gardner. Freddy through to Very enter, who's got the ball out wide. Giacomo, Very enter. He still has it after getting tackled. Very enter. He's still going. Very enter with the shot. What a save. Oh, and Gregory couldn't get the follow up, and it just goes past Askins. Carlos Askins, that is a terrible pass, but somehow Berrienta ends up with the ball. Berrienta, he's cutting him inside, he's still going. Berrienta, he has the shot, it's blocked. Oh, and it's up in the air, but can Berrienta win it? He can, he knocks it down for Gregory. Gregory with the shot, it's blocked. Brighton are putting everything from the line at the moment. Oh, and that is a great pass to Hamed. Hamed. Got to get rid of this. Oh, what a save by Ford, as I believe Rossini had tried the back hill. Cummings to Fred. Fred, he's actually still going with the ball, which is great to see. Fred, he's still running with it. What a great run. Fred, he's still going. Fred, can he have the shot? Oh, he can. He scored. What an amazing solo goal by Fred. Wow, I cannot believe it. He just ran and ran and ran. And, well, I talked about it could be the return of Fred. And, well, he's got a lot to offer for this team. And, well, he has got a lot to offer. What a goal by the youngster. He is obviously going to be featuring a lot more games now that he's back from injury. But if he does that more and more, he may be the starting right midfielder. Oh, and that could be a foul, but the referee seems to wave play on, and it's now played to Lawa Lawa. Played in. Oh, and they've scored. They've got the equaliser there. Very, very simple. I hate it when the con pass it across the goal. It's like they're playing as real people where they sweaty goal. It's really, really stupid, but what can you do there? Really, the defence should have done better. That could have been offside. It wasn't. Lawa Lawa played it across as well. Ricky Van Volswink, a player that earlier got booked turned it into a net. It's pretty easy for him. He does score goals quite a lot and well, a league like the championship should be pretty good for him. Okay, I stand corrected. He's only got four goals. That was disgraceful. We should have done a lot better after Fred scored and we just didn't take any chances. We didn't even get many more chances after that. It's like a switch flicked in the Brighton team's head and they just decided you know what we're actually going to go for this we're going to try and get a point or even get a win and that's just frustrating because the amount of times that we've been able to keep hold of results and now we're starting to let a lot more goals in which is getting frustrating we need to learn to keep clean sheets but onwards and upwards let's get into the next game 
Right, and after that disappointing result against Brighton, we're going to have to change up the team a little bit. So, I've gone with this team. In goal, it's going to be David Ford. The left back is Joe Martin. The centre backs are Ethan Evans Landel and the captain, Mark Beavers. The right back is Cummins. The right midfielder is Fred, basically because he scored that amazing goal. The centre midfielders are Gardner and Azkins. The left midfielder is Aiden O'Brien and the two strikers are Gregory and John Marquis. Berrienta has been dropped to the bench, but he can come on as a super sub. So hopefully we'll be able to get a decent result in this match. So let's go play Wigan. Hughes, back to Morgan again. McKay. On a swung over the top. Can we get ahead to it? No, we can't. And it's gone in the back of the net. What has happened there? Seriously. Do we not have a defence? I don't know how David Perkins has scored that goal here. Let's have another look. That is ridiculous. I don't know why no one actually got that ball. I mean, seriously. Two players were around him. Ford should have done better than that. And, well, we're already losing to Wigan. And after the game against Brighton, I'm getting frustrated with this team. If we don't go up, the team is basically really poor because we have been in such a good position and we're throwing it away. Gardner to Cummings. Cummings, he's going to have a shot. And what a save there by Fielding, the keeper. Oh, and McKay. What can McKay do? Oh, that's a great shot, but what a save by David Ford. That is very, very important that he saved that there. Freddie's still going with the ball. What can Fred do? Absolutely nothing at the moment. Fred to Askins. What can Carlos Askins do? He's probably going to lose the ball out soon. Very soon. Askins is still going. Oh, he gets brought down there, surely. The referee doesn't seem to think so. I mean, when you get your foot taken away, that's a penalty. The referee has been atrocious in this game, giving absolutely nothing. Cummings onto Askins. Carlos Askins is still going. Carlos Askins is still going. Askins, it's been saved. And we need to get on the end of that. And in the end, Fielding gets the ball. Right, I'm making three substitutions here. Lee Martin, Giacomo, Berrienta and Jed Wallace are coming on for Gary Garner, John Marquis and Aiden O'Brien. I want to get a goal back in this game. I want to win it, really, but... That's asking for too much from this team at the moment. We have been atrocious in this game. Lee Martin to Jed Wallace. Jed Wallace onto Lee Martin. Lee Martin, he gets tackled there by Harriman. And we might just win a throw on here. We don't. Lee Martin now has the ball. Lee Martin is still going. Lee Martin is still going. Lee Martin, he's going to have the shot and he puts it in the back of the net. What a goal by Lee Martin. Very, very lucky I'm going to add though. It was very, very clever to get round the defence and... He just slotted it in the back of the net. It's one of those, but you've been waiting so long to get a goal, and then that's the goal that goes in. It's a bit, like, nah, not very good. But a goal's a goal. We're back in the game. Could we push for a winner? That's really what I want to know. I'm absolutely gutted. The team played really well. We shouldn't have conceded that goal early on to Perkins. But that's cost us again. We've dropped more points, which is really frustrating. I can't keep dropping points. I am not in it to go to the playoffs. I want to win the league. And I am not dropping points to pathetic teams like Wigan. It's happened again, like it did in the last game. I'm getting really frustrated now. We just need to work on actually winning a game. Actually scoring goals. And, well, keeping a clean sheet. Because that's the basic principles. And the teams are getting harder and harder. Wigan are a strong team. Brighton are really, really bad. And well, I'm not being funny, but now we have to play Leeds, an even stronger team. So let's get into that game. I'm, well, safe to say I'm very frustrated, to be honest, but it can only get better from here. It's been really, really bad at the moment. Right, so after two disappointing results against both Brighton and Wigan, I've had to change the team a fair amount. So in goal, we're going to go with Christian Welton. The left back is Mitch Hancock. The centre backs are Nelson and the captain, Mark Beavers. The right back is Cummins, the right midfielder is Paris Cohenhall, the centre midfielders are Gardner and Askins, the left midfielder is Jed Wallace, because we need some pace down that wing, and Aiden O'Brien just really doesn't cut it. And then the two strikers are Berrienza and John Marquis. Gregory has had to be dropped to the bench, I have absolutely no faith in him. And so Leeds are the stronger team out of all the sides we've had to play in this episode. So really I'm more scared about playing them though was Wigan and Brighton, but yet we've dropped points big time in those games, so we need to get a win in this game. 
It's kind of hard. I actually do expect it to be a very, very hard game to get goals in as Leeds are a very strong side. Obviously, this is also a derby game that we don't want to lose. So, let's go play Leeds. Gary Gardner, he's going to cross it in this time. Can we get ahead to it? Oh, he actually can. And is that the captain, Mark Beavers, with the header there? I think it is. It's a little bit of luck there, but Beavers has scored yet another header. It's really nice to see him do this because it gets sometimes an issue where we can't score goals and then Beavers manages to secure our fate. He is the captain and it's always nice to see your captain score the goal. In fact, that's what he's done here. What an amazing header. He just beat Silvestri to the ball. And I believe that's his second goal in the league this season. Yes, it is. It's his second goal and obviously the other goal was another header. To Berriardi. Berriardi still going with the ball. He lays it off. Oh, and that is a great save by Christian Welton. That may keep us in this game. John Marquis is going to try and cut inside. And he's actually got inside successfully. And he's still going, John Marquis here. John Marquis is still going. Wow, what a great physical battle there. And that almost went in. The deflection takes it for a corner. Gary Gardner, he crosses in. Can Beavers get his head to it again this time? No, he can't. He drops as far as Sid Nelson, who has an amazing shot go in the back of the net. What a goal by Sid Nelson. I am very, very surprised, as you can tell by my voice. I cannot believe that Beavers knocked that down, and Nelson hit it on the half volley. What an amazing goal by the centre-back. You just don't expect him to do that, and, well, if that wins us the game, that could be amazing. Slight deflection there, but I don't really care. That is an amazing goal. You don't expect to see that too many times. And that could mean that Nelson may keep his space in the team in the next game. This is a great move with Fondoinko Fiera being played through here. He's still going. Fondoinko Fiera, what a save by Christian Welton there. That really is really helpful because we need to keep a clean sheet. Now we've got to defend this corner like our life depends on it. Their keeper's up. This could be huge. Throw it up the pitch as far as Berrienta, hopefully. It doesn't actually end up with Berrienta, and we've missed a chance there as the keeper was up for the corner. They may even end up putting the ball in the back of the net here, and they do. After the keeper was up, we failed to actually capitalise on it, and Leeds actually managed to put the ball in the back of the net. We're in for some very, very scary scenes here. As yet again, we haven't kept a clean sheet, and Leeds could even get an equaliser late in this game. I'm very disappointed with the defence. We need clean sheets. If you want to go up, you definitely need a clean sheet. But we just can't seem to buy one for love nor money at the moment. And here we go. We kick off after conceding that goal. Luckily, we do have a goal advantage at the moment. And have a Lee Martin with a lot of fitness. He lays it off for Askins. Askins to Berrienta. Berrienta. He has the shot and it's gone in the back of the net. No need to cry and be a bit upset about conceding a goal. As we go straight up the pitch and we score here for Giacomo Berrienta. What a goal. And we've deservedly won this game. It's been an amazing game for Millwall. And we have proved that we are strong enough to at least challenge some of the stronger teams in this league. Not gonna lie, it was really hard in that game. We were very lucky. We took our chances. We only had three shots on target, and yet we scored from every single one of them. So I'm not gonna complain. We've done really well in this game. We're getting closer to Crystal Palace as I believe they drop points. I think we also have to play Crystal Palace very, very soon. So that could be a huge game. Obviously, the biggest game of the season if we do have to play them sooner rather than later. So anyway, guys, I hope you have enjoyed this Millwall career mode episode. It's been slightly upsetting for me. The fact that we dropped points against both Brighton and Wigan. But we end up finishing the episode on a very good high by beating Leeds 3-1. So, like, comment, subscribe. And, of course, stay tuned for any more Mill Career Mode episodes. Goodbye.